This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell? Why the Hey, 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 I'm back. How's it, how's it going? He made it back, unfortunately. Fuck you. <laughs> A shark didn't eat him. Uh, okay, all right, we're getting some weird feedback echoing here. Pinhead con- says, hey, dickheads, how you doing, Pinhead? What's up, man? Yeah, Jay's back. Uh, he didn't get eaten by a shark or anything because he didn't go swimming during his period. Um, now, but... since you were mean to me, you don't deserve this. <laughs> you got me something. I brought you your favorite. Jay bought me saltwater taffy, but I have 11 cavities, so he's basically torturing me. (laughs) Thank you. I will eat these while I masturbate tonight. (laughs) No, I'm glad to see you back. I was uh, hoping you'd be back tonight because I didn't want to find another (laughs) co-host. No, I'm back. I'm back. I was going to bring beer back, uh, but I spent all my money. Yeah. Be happy you got a $3 box of salt water taffy. I'm surprised you bought me anything at all. You're not usually a gift giver. <laughs> Damn, dude. You're making it sound like I'm fucking stingy. I know. It's not that. I just, I'm really trying to think if you ever bought me a gift before. Well, I'm not much of a gift giver because, you know, I got fucking wife and kids and I'm always broke. Yeah, that's true. Whatever. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> my, my, my general gift to every, he usually brings you STDs. Thanks, Pinhead. Uh, my usual gift uh, that I give everybody is not moving in with you, and I'm going to continue to pay my bills. That's 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 my gift. That's that's a good enough reason. Whatever works for people. Whatever. <laughs> hey, guess oh. what? I found my fucking soundboard. Did you? <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, that? it was really strange doing the show last week with no sound clips. <laughs> it was god awful. Ashley like Ashley took a sip a of the beer of the week though, which I was surprised she didn't finish day. it, but she just sipped it. And that's that's all it was. <laughs> it's about time. Yeah, Pinhead. Uh, yeah. I'm terribly sorry. All right. I lost the fucking thing and I found it again. Yeah. Good thing Jay doesn't lose his kids or anything or he'd be in jail. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah. Another guy I know got thrown in prison for touching special needs kids at a high school. Oh, good. <laughs> Anyone I know? No, he's from Jersey Shore. Time for the K- Casey to join the Cenobites. <laughs> I don't think he, he would he would be into that. I don't even know what Cenobites is. <laughs> what? You're going to have to explain this to me. What are Cenobites? You've never seen Hellraiser. Oh, yeah, when I was like five. <laughs> Your mom let you watch Hellraiser when you were five? Yeah, she didn't give a fuck. The internet was out. She was like, Casey, like, just do stuff. Leave me alone. I'm on ICQ. You remember ICQ when you were younger? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about it. But moving right along, let's get into this week's uh, Beer of the Week. Uh, we have sound clips now, so we can do it. Um, we tried a beer by New Belgium before. It was Flat Tire. We did not like it. It was shit. Flat Tire was terrible. It was fucking horrible. But this logo looked cool. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it's called Voodoo Ranger, and it's by New Belgium. And I want to give them another shot because I don't know. It's it's eight op pale ale. So hopefully it's a, it has a lot more flavor than the flat tire. Flat tire didn't taste like anything. It was god awful. So we're gonna try this. Uh, hopefully it, it has more flavor. Cheers, mate. Cheers. It's all right. Yeah. Pinhead says, but Jay has a flat tire. No, I have a spare tire, not a flat tire. <laughs> yeah, just a little little chub in the belly area. Yeah, well, you know, it has a lot more flavor than flat tire. It's still weak. Yeah, it's okay. I think New Belgium is going for, like, a bitch beer, like, trying to push the microbrew shit on people. That's what I'm getting from it anyways. Um, it is hoppy, but it's not, like, anything crazy. It's sort of weak, like the flat tire. Would yeah. you agree? It's all right. Yeah, it, it's nothing special. I just, I, I think at this point, we're not going to try anything else from New Belgium because the beer sucks. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Hall- Halloween's coming up in a couple months, actually. If you think about it, what are we in July, August, September, about three months? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, we we have the Halloween special coming up. 
<laughs> we haven't done like fucking shit for special. We haven't done anything fun in a while. Well, what are we gonna do? Like a Father's Day special? Like I don't have a father, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did, but he's dead, so whatever that means. But uh, yeah, if if um, if I would rate this, it, it, it's nothing special. I'd give it three diva cups out of five because it's not that good, <laughs> and it doesn't taste like period blood. <laughs> <laughs> If anyone doesn't know what a diva cup is, just Google it. Have you guys had tried Duff beer? No. Did I, they actually make Duff beer, or is that still just a Simpsons thing? You they fucking with did. us, or did they make a make an actual version? If they actually make it, we'll actually try it. It probably tastes like piss, but <laughs> <laughs> well, there's there's a beer down. You know, I was in I was in Maryland, and uh, Maryland's uh, official beer is called National Bohemian. Their logo is actually really cool. It's like an old timey guy, kind of like the Pringles dude, only from the side. <laughs> the Pringles dude. Hello, like my it. baby. Hello, my darling. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's supposedly uh, supposedly not. Um, w- w- what is it? It's the perfect thing to have with, with steamed crabs, I guess. Is oh, this beer. Yeah, I, I was gonna bring some home, but yet again, spent all my cash. But I bet you it tastes like garbage. So when you hook up with a girl that says it was her first time to get crabs, you're supposed to drink this beer. Uh, evidently. Fucking liars. <laughs> she lied to me. So anything interesting happened? Like, did you see a homeless guy get attacked by seagulls or anything? Uh, no, it was mostly just a lot of relaxation, you know? Really? It's just, uh, spent a lot of time out on the beach, uh, tanning my fat rolls and, uh... Oh, nice. Spent all the cash on hookers and beer, and, uh, my wife would have had something to say about that, I think. <laughs> um, we ate some good food, uh... Saw some cool things, you know, so I just sat there, watched the waves go in. It's you, just very relaxing. Uh, you said you did find someone that actually cooked a medium rare burger for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, why not uh, throw my little thing out there? There's a, there's a restaurant down there. It's kind of a sports bar. It's called the Green Turtle. And uh, there there's a couple of them they franchised out, but we went to the original Green Turtle, and it's like a total fucking hole in the wall. Really? <laughs> Yeah, most uh, most places start out like that. But when you say green turtle, I think when you have really diarrhea bad and you have to poop. <laughs> and <coughs> yes, yes, they do. Yes, they do, Pinhead. I last about three and a half seconds. <laughs> uh, anyway, I went to the green turtle place and uh, <coughs> me and the wife, we both got burgers and she ordered hers medium well and it was perfectly done. And Amanda's a medium weller. She, she's a media she generally does medium but she, she asks for medium well when she goes to a place she doesn't know because she doesn't know how the meat yeah. is handled man uh, i'm disappointed i'm so disappointed in you. I, I you're asked, a medium weller <laughs> i asked for mine medium rare i actually don't like my burgers medium rare i prefer them medium mm-hmm. but everywhere i go they always overcook it so yeah. i just order medium rare yeah um but it came out as a perfect medium rare and it was delicious i had uh I had this like a uh, jalapeno burger, and they used fresh sliced jalapenos. They weren't pickled. It was it was great. And Amanda had one, a Chesapeake burger with crab dip on it. That was really good. Oh goddamn! I bet you sex that night was horrible. <laughs> Couldn't have sex. <laughs> you guys were breathing on each other, and you smelled like jalapenos and crab dip. <laughs> <laughs> there, was, there was there was no fucking to be done. We were in a hotel room. So you didn't fuck at all the whole time you were down there. Well, we couldn't. I got like two freaking kids. There's two beds. <laughs> you didn't sneak out at night and fuck in the ocean or anything. Uh, you don't leave a seven year old alone in a in a you know hotel room. Why not? <laughs> Speaking of lovely parenting, I might as well use that as a segue into uh, one of the, one of the things I read this week. I just had to take it take it back with us. So this chick in Oregon, uh, she was arrested for towing her kids in in one of those play school red wagons. <laughs> it wasn't even a red fucking what are those? It wasn't things? a radio flyer. Yeah, it wasn't radio metal. Flyer. <laughs> it was a plastic wagon. She tied it to the bumper of her minivan. And started driving around a a, a busy uh, uh, roundabout yeah. at five o'clock in the afternoon, you know, because that's always a lovely <laughs> idea. It's a roundabout. Yeah, she she towed she towed her two year old daughter, her four year old son, and her eight year old nephew in a p- small plastic red wagon multiple times during rush hour. Uh, she said uh, she was only do- going like five miles an hour and was trying to show the kids a good time. And a witness said she saw them go by their house in the neighborhood, and they were going like 30. Apparently, the two-year-old started crying. She had the decency to take the two-year-old back in the car. Showing kids good times, I don't know. Why don't you show them, like, 
Disney World or something. You don't tie a fucking plastic <laughs> wagon to your fucking station wagon and drive around town. Like, Jesus Christ, yeah, and man. It, was, it was pretty heavy traffic at a busy intersection because she wanted to show him a, a good time. So needless to say, she's she's got arrested. What, what, was it Portland? Does it say if it's Portland? Springfield. No, oh, okay. I think they're close, aren't they? I don't know. Because I know, I know Portland is the serial killer capital of the world. And uh, everyone's fucking nuts out there. Yeah. Everyone's crazy. Like, I play WoW with this girl, and she lives near Portland, and there's a guy that uh, rides around on a unicycle in a kilt and a Darth Vader mask and plays the bagpipes. <laughs> What's the problem? I don't know. He's actually pretty famous, I guess. I guess he's all over the internet. But he even did one where he was uh, playing the bad bagpipes, and I guess flames were coming out of it. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, sounds like, it sounds like a new metal band from the yeah, early 2000s. Yeah, I know. How about it? Pinhead said he's drinking Guinness at the moment. Good choice. It's my favorite beer. Yeah, I think before we live stream Pinhead, uh, we found that Guinness makes a blonde. Yeah, that, that was interesting. It was very interesting. You guys can fondle my puzzle box anytime. Uh, it sounds amazing. Yeah, and, and once we do that, we'll, we'll strap you to a car in a red wagon and just drive you around Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, that sounds like a Pinhead movie to me. That reminds me. I watched... Um, the Lego Batman movie the other day. Oh, my sh- God. It's great. That is dark. It's fucking hilarious. I know, but it was so dark about him being lonely and his parents killing him and shit. I was like, God damn, man. And it was how he was afraid to have a family and let people get close to him. I was like, well, yeah, there was a little Christ. bit of darkness, but more often than anything, it was hilarious. I know the one part where he was alone cooking the lobster in the microwave. I don't know why, but that was the funniest shit I've ever seen for some reason. <laughs> I, and it was so quiet. I don't understand. I love the. Uh, <laughs> I love when he's sitting there trying to switch uh, inputs on the TV because that's <laughs> oh, yeah. the shit that I do. <laughs> he's like, "Oh no, not HDMI three. Oh, which one is it?" And he's watching uh, Jerry Maguire. <laughs> Will Will Arnett does a surprisingly good Batman voice. Yeah, he say. does. I didn't know it was him. I looked him up, and I was like, "That's him." The uh, uh, Gordon's bitch daughter or whatever. And it, I knew she sounded familiar. Then when I looked her, I was like, "Oh, it's that." You know, um, I don't know if she's black or what. She's she's darker skin, but she's playing like Clerks too and stuff like that. I can't remember. Yeah, Rosario Dawson. Yeah, that's her she's. Name. I think she's mixed. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. No, it, it's. Uh, I thought it was great. Actually, Will Arnett uh, is respectable. He's almost as good as Kevin Clash. I gotta say. Yeah, it was actually really Kevin cool. Kevin Clash. What am I thinking? Um, Kevin Clash was fucking Splinter and Elmo. Um, they were Kevin making. Conroy. Uh, they were making fun of. I like how they made fun of like the old sixties Batman's and shit like that. Oh, yeah. And and the one funny joke uh, where the little orphan that plays Robin or whatever was like, "You can call me Charlie, but people at the um, uh, orphanage call me Dick." And Batman's like, "Yeah, kids can be cruel." <laughs> <laughs> so there's a little adult humor and everything, but I thought it was like really funny and dark. So if you're a, a grown man child like me and you haven't seen it yet, watch the Batman Lego Movie. It was pretty badass. Uh yeah the uh, <laughs> the the Joker was still better than Jared Leto too. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's the thing they're making a Suicide Squad too. Like I saw the trailer, I was like, people like that enough that they're gonna make another one. The movie is terrible. Like holy fuck, man! Like why are they making another one? I don't get it. I mean, it, it's so funny to me that both Suicide Squad and Logan came out at the same year. Yeah. You know, it's like the pinnacle of what can be done with this story. And the low lights. <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't understand it. Like, Suicide Squad is like, I, I could eat a girl's or a woman's afterbirth, throw it up, back out, and it would still be better and more entertaining than Suicide Squad. And it would also kind of look like those bad guys with the little fucking raspberry heads. Yeah, the fucking heads. raspberry heads and shit like that, whatever the fuck they were called. God, that movie was so god-awful. Well, like I said before, the the thing that makes a great superhero movie is a great villain yeah and you got enchantress there who's doing stuff because oh yeah she's like oh i escaped and i want to kill the world for some reason no backstory you didn't relate with the bad guy why she was doing it you were just like i just don't care yeah you know why you don't care because she was hot she was half naked (laughs) there's plenty of uh, of things that you can do with a with a villain to make them oh excuse me to make the villain worth watching i mean you can have somebody who's like the joker who's just like fucking crazy for crazy's sake and mm-hmm. just, just chaos and carnage or you can have somebody you know like um kingpin from from the the uh flash tv show where you know they they build up enough character development with him that you care oh, just about start kingpin. watching daredevil 
or Daredevil. Sorry, not Flash. Yeah, yeah. no, oh, no. Okay. But I, you I remember a, me talking about it. Yeah, and yeah. I'm I'm just a comic book book nerd in general, so I kind of know most of these backstories. Yeah, and things I, anyway. I had a comic book question at Quizzo, and, no, and like everyone looked at me like I was fucking retarded. Was that last it, week? Or yeah, yesterday? Mel Mel Dernhammer got it right though, because he's a comic book fan. But it was what was the fictional metal called in Wolverine's body? And everyone's Adamantium. Like, yeah, everyone's like, "What kind of question is that?" And I'm like, "You motherfuckers need to get out, like, and and, and educate yourself." Jesus Christ, educate yourself. <laughs> you know, they made not one but like six blockbuster movies. You know, I was just like, "Who doesn't know that?" And I did a pack Miss Pac Man question, and no, and everyone thought that was the hardest fucking question. Well, what was that question? Uh, what is the only food that you eat that isn't a fruit? Ice cream? No. No, what is it? Pretzel. No. Oh. But I didn't I, know that. I thought that was a really good question. Though. Not everyone question. knew it, but I thought it was a really good question. Everyone was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> it's kind of like that week I had to take over for you, and I, I said, what is, uh, you know, what, what's a group of flamingos called? And it's called a flamboyance. Because, <laughs> of course, it is. Yes. Mm. I knew no one would get it, but I thought everybody would go home and like, oh, that's interesting. I'm so flamboyant. Mm, yes. Mm. Of course they are. They're as pink as my wife's nose after getting <laughs> in you, the sun. You actually don't look, like, suntanned at all. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, like I'm like five shades darker. No, I like I just I thought you would be burnt to shit. Yeah, I don't I don't know. You're a little red, but you just well, I don't I don't burn much. I'm no. using like SPF seventy. SP- I'm not trying to like come back home looking like a lobster. Yeah, my I'm, face is. I'm a still red. pale as fuck. Whatever. You sour name, cream looking motherfucker. I am sour cream looking. The women love it. <laughs> The women love it. Yeah, I had a friend. You know, she tried to hook me up with this girl. All right. And I was like, oh, you know, if she's in her 30s, she must be crazy. And she's like, no, she was trying to, you know, change this guy in prison that was a crackhead that she was good. I was like, that's what you think of me? Jesus Christ, man. Can I just get a normal woman that's maybe, I don't know, was married, went through a divorce because her husband was a piece of shit? My God, man. I just, like, every woman I meet has such fucking excess baggage man and then i have another one that you know is interested in me but her fucking ex-boyfriend's a drug dealer oh, good. <laughs> drug dealer <laughs> uh, stop I, breaking the law asshole yeah i just i i don't fucking understand i don't get to play that enough yeah i know you don't jim carrey's the shit though i love him Besides when he got all, like, uh, anti-vax and shit like that. <laughs> well, he was fucking Jenny McCarthy. I know. You stick your dick in that big ball of crazy, and some of it's bound to wear off. Well, if Jenny McCarthy was like, hey, you need to support me in this, and I was fucking her, I would be like, yeah, they're they're fucking bullshit. Yeah. She'd be like, yeah, they are. And he'd be like, what are we talking about again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what happened to him. He said, me and Jay were talking about this the other day. Like, some of those, like, uh, more serious movies, like, uh, what was that, Transpotting of the... Oh, Eternal Sunshine yeah, and Spotless, Spotless Mind. Mind. Uh, man, 23 good... or whatever that movie was called. Yeah. Something like that. Fucking weird, man. I wish there was stuff like that that could erase your brain. Oh, be awesome. How do you know there isn't? Yeah, that's true. You wouldn't remember it. Yeah, harp. Any you conspiracy theorists out there, harp. <laughs> They're controlling the weather and, and making the frogs gay. <laughs> I don't like him putting chemicals in the oh, water. Oh, man. Um, the if you ever watch Alex game. Jones, he screams a lot on the show because he gets so fucking furious. Like, on one episode, he, he actually rips his shirt off. Of course he does. <laughs> well, someone took all the times he screamed and made a death metal song out of it. It's amazing. <clears throat> you should check it out sometime. It's, it's fucking glorious. But um, I did want to bring something up. And it's really going to piss me off, so I don't know why I'm bringing it up. But I thought it would make good conversation. Um, So I was reading this article the other day, and this guy was complaining that um, a lot of views that people have on the Internet have been getting deleted, have, you know, been, you know, if if someone doesn't agree with you or something, they, they delete it or they, you know, just get ready via like a Facebook has been caught doing a lot, YouTube and stuff like that. So he's wondering why this is happening. Okay, what's that do? I don't know. I did it, and now I'm seeing views on mine. Oh, okay. So, um, so this guy makes a good point, and he's like, "So we're deleting people's views of you know just what their political views are, what they believe in," and he's like, "I just don't understand it because there's videos on YouTube now of adults teaching six and seven year olds how to masturbate." <laughs> What? Yeah. And I didn't I didn't think this is where the article was going. 
I really didn't. Uh, but once he said that, I was like, what the fuck? That, you know, that whole Will Ferrell meme, like, that escalated quickly. So yeah, I, I, I don't want to show any on the show because when I watched it, I felt like I was going to be put on a list for watching <laughs> child porn. But And you probably already are yeah. on that list just by... Uh, just by living in Glenmar. Yeah, exactly. So if anyone's is interested, look look this up. There's or lots. Or don't. It's, it's not just one video. It's lots of videos. And it's older adults, you know, teaching young kids like six, seven years old how to masturbate. And it's not, you know, just telling them about it. They are bringing full-size dildos out, lotion, um, napkins. Um, Damn it, you need to discover this on your own the natural way by taking a uh, Ziploc baggie full of warm pudding and shoving it between the couch cushions like a normal fucking red-blooded exactly. American. Exactly, exactly. But the thing that pisses me off is, is my favorite type of people in this world are Nazi feminists. I love them so much. They're a bunch of fucking cunts, and I can't stand them. And one of the, one of the videos... <laughs> hey, brothers, Pinhead, were you gone? Yeah. You missed our good shit. We were all talking about some crazy shit. You fucked up. Yeah. We're, we're talking about, for anyone joining right now, we're talking about how uh, there is numerous YouTube videos on YouTube right now of grown adults teaching six and seven-year-olds how to masturbate. Now, why the fuck, and they fuck you in the ass, thanks for your sharing, um, <laughs> why the fuck are these people not on a, a kid touch a list? Although, then again, uh, the pedophile that we know has finally gone to prison. Yeah. It only took for forever how long. Damn, I was recruiting some minions, he says. Okay, <laughs> all right. You were doing the Lord's work, Pinhead. We no. appreciate it. God bless. <laughs> but as I was saying, so they have these kids, and they're all sitting there, and they're bringing out dildos and shit like that, lotion. And I think it's funny that they're blurring out the dildos. You know, you're already teaching kids how to masturbate, but let's blur out the dildos. And you just have these fat fucking ki like feminist cunts sitting here saying shit like like I have some quotes here. The ones even when I have a partner, I still like to masturbate. And remind you, she's talking to a six seven year old kid. Okay, uh, which that thing you don't even need a boy. So she's telling not only six and seven year olds, you know, oh you don't you, you know masturbate and stuff like that. Oh you don't need no guy. So, you know, we already have a problem Ugh. in America where a lot of people don't want to get married. We're already destroying families and shit. So let's just, you know, tell six and seven year olds, hey, just start masturbating. You don't need a guy. That, and that just really pissed me off. Um, there's a bunch of other quotes on here. And like I said, look at these videos in your own thing. They're all over YouTube. I think we should be teaching them how to uh, properly warm a watermelon to the precise temperature so as not to cause burns. <laughs> yeah, Exactly. Jesus Christ! And make sure you take all the seeds out of the watermelon when you before you oh, put no, it in the oven. That's fine because then, <laughs> then when you pull it out and there's a watermelon seed stuck in the tip, you just push real hard and it shoots. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Actually, leave the watermelon seeds in because it sort of feels like teeth. But <laughs> um, and now we just learned a little bit about, uh, about Casey today. Um, there's some more quotes here. Mom, did you ever masturbate? Oh yes, I think the first time was in kindergarten. My God. <laughs> Yeah, they say women mature faster than guys, man. There, there must be some truth to that shit. I just, I just don't get it. I just don't get why this is accepted right now. Like, everyone is so focused on people misspelling words on Twitter. Like, we're missing where full-grown adults are teaching six and seven-year-olds to masturbate. And like I said, this is this isn't hidden. You can go on YouTube and and look for these. There's, I think there's. Yeah, I think that's about my age. 13? Yeah, it sounds about right. I don't know. I don't remember. The funny thing about masturbating is, is, like, I remember, like, I, I think I was around 13 when I started doing it, but what made me do it? Like, it know. was just your nature. <laughs> Felt good? Yeah, but... <clears throat> you sitting there shaking it one too many times, like, ooh. We were like, ooh, what is that? <laughs> but it was like, it was like my, my manlyhood or whatever the fuck you want to call it just kicked in was like, hey... Maybe you should, you know, shake it more than twice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, funny aside about that whole thing. I, I remember back in college, I, uh, my buddy and I uh, had had like a crusty sock contest. Uh -huh. I won handily, and uh, uh, I, I I did it so much into into this particular sock that after a while I started like shaping it into a foot, <laughs> so it would stand up on its own. That's awesome. That's so beautiful. it would just like sit there on the dresser. 
But like this is my statue. I didn't get a statue, so I made my own. Yeah, yeah, I, that, that was my that was my trophy. So it sat there on its own, you know. And I brought it out during during the contest, at the that the conclusion, the climax, if you will, of the contest. Uh, and yes, Pinhead, I have done that. We call it here. Uh, I don't the stranger. The stranger. Yeah, sitting on your hand till it goes numb. Yeah. Anyway, so I brought it out, and uh, we we felt it was so impressive. We felt the need to give it a proper burial. <laughs> So we buried it in the backyard. So you buried your jizz sock. <laughs> I jizz suck. Yeah. See, I've never been a jizz suck kind of guy. I'm very, I'm very Spartan in my masturbatory practices. I don't even do the lotion, nothing. Yeah, I don't use lotion either. I fucking dry rub the shit out yeah, of it. Yeah, you want that friction. Oh, that lotion yeah, is too messy. And I hate semen. Semen's messy. I don't keep that shit around. I put it in the toilet and I'm done. <laughs> in the toilet? What, you masturbate on the toilet? <laughs> no. Yeah, so... uh so uh yeah, so I'm taking over a new leaf pen head. You gotta romance me first. <laughs> yeah, I masturbate on toilet seats so women sit on and get it pregnant. <laughs> I wonder if that's ever happened. No, because it's fucking impossible. Yeah, the semen dies too quick, I think. You'd have to like do it like real fucking quick, like turkey baster style. So um that pissed you off, and I have another one that's gonna piss you off just because I feel like fucking making you angry i just i'm so pissed off because i usually get on rants and stuff about this stuff but i'm so pissed off about this i don't know what to say like i'm sort of speechless about that? it <laughs> yeah like i just i don't get it i don't get you know how you know a president or something like that misspells a word and it's fucking armageddon but kids are getting taught to masturbate by their fucking by adults and that's okay i just don't understand it I no just, that should lay you on a watch list but uh yeah here's another one too um I've said this before, and I'll say it again. If you live in the United States, tipping is not optional. Uh, it might be a shitty practice, but it's uh, it's not optional. Uh, so anyway, so apparently, I, I'm late to the party on this one, but I found it out. Uh, so there's a scummy internet post that, that seems to be reemerging uh, about how to get, quote unquote, the best service of your life at a restaurant. Now, Casey's a server, so this should hit particularly hard. So here it goes. So I took the wife out to dinner last night, and we've always talked about doing this. You put five singles out on the table at the beginning of dinner for the waiter or waitress to see. Don't say anything to them. If they mess up, you take a dollar away and so on. At the end of dinner, however much is left is their tip. I shit you not, you will receive the best service of your life. The waitress kept looking at it as if she was confused, but she played her cards right, did a great job, and received the whole five bucks. I did take away a dollar, though, because she forgot the bread. Uh, but a she, human made a mistake. Yes. That's that's so weird to me. But she bounced back and gave us extra. Ha ha. All in all, a great evening with my love and a good dinner experiment we both wanted to see play out. Try it. You will be surprised. And this is the kind of guy, whoever did this, if someone did this to me, I would go to their job and just start screaming at them. And then I would pull down my pants and I would take a huge shit all over them. Because that's how they. that's how you feel like you're treated when someone would do that to you. We're not animals. We're not fucking playthings. And would you do shit like that? Do you understand Hell, that? I probably wouldn't have waited until I went, until, you know, they left and go to their job and done it. I would have probably done it right in the restaurant. I would have pulled down my pants and I would have shit all over you. Like, just all over you. And then I would have, like, made out with your wife while she had shit all over her face. Fucking scum, dude. Fucking scum. You know what? And this is probably... This is probably the same person that bitches on, you know, Facebook or Twat or whatever the fuck you want to call it. People are poor. Raise minimum wage. Uh, duh, duh. Uh, uh. Jesus Christ, man. And then he's fucking playing games like this on a waiter or a waitress or whatever the fuck it was. The, the thing that gets me is, uh, is somebody here put it best. Somebody on Twitter said, I'm amazed by people taking insignificant shit and using it to feel powerful. This person used $5. $5 for pure evil. Yep. I mean, dude. And that's the thing. Like, it, it's it's just 5 bucks, but, you know, you're waiting on more than one table. That shit adds up. Yeah, well, here's, here's my question to y'all. E even if your waitress fucked up, made a mistake, I'm not saying came and was blatantly rude to you and was just a douche because, I mean, that happens too, but did you ever have a bad day at work? Did you ever fuck some shit up? Did yeah. anybody take your paycheck away from you? Exactly. Ex yeah. Like, imagine not getting paid. And here's the thing. People are like, oh, you don't have to tip. That's true. But here's the thing. If you didn't tip, food would be more expensive. Um, it, tipping is so integrated into America, and I've said this before, okay? 
food companies, restaurants, and everything incorporate being tipped into their food prices. So you'd have Sunoco and all these Sunoco. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Sunoco. Do you, <laughs> um, you would have all these companies and shit like that fucking be raising their money. So restaurants and food businesses, you know, they, they count on that. If you took tipping away, they would have to pay everyone else. Like, what do wages is get in Pennsylvania? Two dollars, I think. Two eighty five. Yeah, imagine raising that to seven fifteen and shit like that. It's fucking ridiculous. You know, and if you truly believe that tipping is wrong, and I, I support that thought too, if you believe that it's a stupid system and everybody should get a livable wage, that's absolutely true. They should. Everybody should be getting paid a, a, a reasonable amount so that tipping is no longer necessary. That'd be great. But the thing is, you as the consumer need to understand, yes, you, you need to understand that your burger is going to now cost you $14, $15, and that's just the way it's going to be. That's like people are just all fucking gung ho. Like in Switzerland, they do this shit. Yeah, in Switzerland, it's like eighty bucks for a pizza. Like you know, my friend has a friend that lives there and tells him all the time they never go out and do stuff because food and stuff is so fucking expensive. And it's just, it, it, uh, I mean, I'm totally all about it. If you want to, if you as a society all decide right now that you're okay with paying three or four dollars extra on each and every item at a restaurant, then yeah, sure, cool. Let's uh, let's pay everybody a good wage and give them health care and all that other good shit. Let's let's do that. I know, but just in general, it's but bullshit. It's, it's going to cost you like three extra bucks on every single item, including a side of fries. Like we're getting fucking thrown off track here, but I don't fucking care. And, there, and then there's another thing just about money in general. OK, you know, we have all this big things about how can we pay for this? How can we pay for that? We print our own fucking money. It's just a scam. Our whole money system, our whole fucking way of life is a scam. We print our own fucking money, but, you know, you we use that? it. Yeah, we use it over people's heads. It's a way to control people. I know people that work for the stock market and don't know how it works because you're not supposed to know how it works because it scams you. <laughs> I just I can't stand it anymore, dude. I'm done. I'm leaving. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm done. I just I just everything's a big joke to me. I just. I see through the fakeness and lies of people and just the way everything is so much. I just, let me try that. <laughs> Jay, Jay started uh, vaping again. Started vaping again. And uh, I just want to try it. Is it this button? Yeah. This button. All right. Ooh, it's minty fresh. Minty fresh. <laughs> yeah. I do the minty fresh. I make my own. I'm 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 cheap. Yeah. Um. I didn't see what someone said something about three dollars. I, I I didn't see what you say. I'm sorry. Uh, three dollars for free health care. No, it's three dollars for every item on a menu. I'm and I'm just guesstimating here. Probably costs way more than that to be able to fucking pay for benefits and everything for the those those tipped employees. I know, and that's the thing. I just money's a scam. Money is such a fucking scam. Like, and you know, I hate to get all Alex Jones here, but you know, the, the sad thing about our money system is our government doesn't even isn't even control of our money. The Federal Reserve is and they're a private they're a private company that prints their own money and it's then we, we loan it out. So that's why, you know, our national debt's never gonna get rid of because every time they print us money we owe them a dollar for every dollar they print. And then and then these politicians come out and hang money over our head like things are bad, things are bad. And I'm like, you fucking think? But it's like we'll print money for, you know, bombs and all sorts of shit all over the place. Hey, just keep printing it out. But we, we can't, you know, do anything else for people, you know, just just as long as we're getting our fucking blood money. <sighs> By Bitcoin. I wish I had. We're fucking losing viewers. Shut up. <laughs> Buy Bitcoin, they're saying. I, I wish I had, man. Yeah. If I had gotten into that back in the day, I'd be a billionaire right now. Yeah, and that's the thing. I don't know. I just don't get it. And there's no, and there's the thing. You know, we there's people out there that know this shit. It's just hard to fucking do anything about it. Like Iceland years ago, they were having problems with their politicians, so they all took out dumpsters and pulled them out of their homes and threw them in the dumpsters. Like we can't do that here. There's so many private security and all sorts of shit, and I don't know, man. It's just something. And, and the thing is, is like you just gotta stop, like. Uh, since working in a restaurant, there's a huge thing going on right now, and I don't know if it's just Pennsylvania or if it's affecting anyone else, but chicken wings are going, like, so sky-high, like, in price for some reason. And it's like, I think when we first opened the restaurant, it was, like, 9 bucks for a dozen wings. Now it's, like, 11 or something. 
So he had to raise the price on the menu for two dollars just to keep up with him. Like he had to stop doing wing night because he can't sell them for fifty cents a piece anymore. But it's like you know how you know how you change this. Just stop buying chicken wings. Just everybody. Like I was telling, I have friends that live in California. If anyone is from California, they could probably relate to this. Uh, they have no gas days where you know thousands or millions of people from California just don't buy gas that day, and it fucking it makes the oil companies lose so much money. And I just we have the power to do that kind of shit. We just don't. I'm all about uh, fucking with anybody who has money. <laughs> exactly. Fuck them bitches with money. God, I can still taste your uh, fucking vaporizer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, holy fuck. fresh. It feels like I brushed my teeth for like five days straight. It's Ugh. super simple, too. I used to like fucking voltage boost them and shit like that. I don't do any of that yeah. anymore. This is just a fucking standard, typical, uh, uh, what, what do you call it? Battery backup yeah. thing for a cell phone. I just fucking rigged in. Oh, I remember one time shit. you made one out of Altoids can. Do you remember that? Mm hmm. <laughs> He's like, look, and he made one out of a Lego brick. <laughs> like, Jay gets all MacGyver and shit about those. Well, I'm good with electronics. I went to college for it. Yeah. I uh, didn't graduate college, but I did go to college for it. Yeah, I couldn't graduate college either. You know why? Hey, back to money. <laughs> I went to a really expensive school, though. My classes were 20. <laughs> money. <laughs> My classes were 2,500 bucks uh, a class. That's a lot of money. Actually, when I added it all up, I found out that my school was more expensive than Harvard. <sighs> yeah, full uh, sales is kind of a, one of them for-profit scam colleges. Yeah, they're under investigation by the FBI like every fucking year. Yeah, I went to ITT, same situation. <laughs> yeah, uh, University of Phoenix, they're another one that's FBI is always investigating them. It's just, and a big problem is, is that I could see why uh, the people that, um, recruit students or whatever like that are getting commission. Oh, and yeah. That's fucking horrible. Actually, I think it might be illegal even. Um, no, it's not illegal. It might be for colleges. Don't quote me on that, but I, I think it might be because I think that's what the problem is. There's no way to prove it because they're just paying these commissions under the table and there's no way um, they'll investigate me too. Well, what'd you do, metal militia? Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> um, Besides ripping off a uh, Metallica song name. <laughs> um... Yeah, because, like, I, I remember even when I was signing up for my college, uh, they were like, and this is the line they always use, well, you better hurry and sign up as soon as you can because the classrooms are getting filled. And that's their line of saying, you know, and their classrooms aren't filled. They have enough classrooms to do anybody, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's called evidence. Yeah, yeah, smart guy, smart guy. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, that's that's – and, uh, and that's what she said to me over the phone because I was talking to her about it. She's like, well, you better hurry. The classrooms are getting filled. So anytime you hear that shit, just, yeah, there's something going on. And it's just ridiculous. Like, I should have known something was up when I go to college and the college is an old strip mall. <laughs> I thought you were going to say an old strip club. No, that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. I've actually been following a... Um, this girl that writes books about being a stripper and she's like a mom and everything and how hard it is and how much she, like she enjoys it sometimes though. Very strange book. I think she's called stripper mommy and I can't remember. Actually she's from Oregon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is it with Oregon today? Um, yeah, but that just sucks. Oh yeah. And I don't know why this reminds, I guess cause we were just talking about States, but, uh, they just did a huge, um, I don't know if investigation is the best way to put it, but, uh, uh, they looked into a bunch of things and they did this thing where they found out that Pennsylvania is the eighth most worst in, worst in shape state in the United States right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're eighth from the bottom. That's how bad we are. <laughs> Round is a shape. <laughs> That's true. Hey, you want to get in shape? Round's a shape. <laughs> hey, I'm totally jumping, on, jumping back to something you said earlier because I just remembered about it. Okay. You asked if I saw any cool stuff in uh, Ocean City, Maryland. Yeah, you know what I did, and I think I want to throw these guys a shout out because I just remembered about it. Uh, sitting on the boardwalk, there's a couple of guys doing uh, doing spray paint like can on canvas, uh -huh. and uh, one one of the guys really stood out, and he was really really cool and was making these paintings and shit super fucking fast. And uh, you can check out what this guy does on StellarPaintings.com. It's S-T-E-L-L-A-R-P-A-I-N-T-I-N-G-S.com. 
You can uh, watch videos of him doing his thing. You can watch, uh, you can even order them online. But this dude churns out paintings fast as fuck. Like, um, it is pretty crazy what they can do with that stuff. I can barely spray paint something uh, that's just a chair. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I've seen some of this shit. I think it was in um, Atlantic City, and I seen a guy doing this, and it was fucking insane. Because, like, like, like he's doing right now, it always looks like shit at first. And then, like, he does one thing, and you're like, oh. <laughs> this yeah, guy like that just, shit. like, does the coolest shit, and he does, like, these... Uh, what do you call it, like planets and things like really sci-fi style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Oh, fuck, that reminds me. I have a friend that did a painting, and he wanted me to put it up back here on the show, and I completely forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shit, I keep forgetting. All right, move right along. Sorry. Yeah, I just uh, if you get a chance, go to stellarpaintings.com. Uh, watch. He's got a couple of YouTube videos of him doing this stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, me and the wife and the kids like literally stood there for like an hour one day just <laughs> watching, and he was like turning out a painting like every five minutes. Jesus, it's Christ. ridiculous how fast this guy works. And Just sitting uh, watching this, so like God, by now we could have ran away and had sex. Well, the funny, <laughs> yeah. Well, the funny part is uh, he sells these paintings for forty bucks a pop. And he was selling one probably one every five minutes or so. So just the amount of fucking money this guy's like making on a good day. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, can you imagine going up to him while he's doing this and lay five ones across? But like, if you mess up, I'm gonna take a one away. <laughs> fucking God. Suckers. Yeah, if you fucking overspray onto uh onto the box you're working on as you sit there for hours and hours and hours on your knees. That makes me so fucking sick, dude. I just like I said, I would just shit all over that. <laughs> God, it's so disturbing. Yeah, he's fucking... Yeah, look that, how cool that shit that, is. That is fucking cool. I, here, let me... <laughs> turn it around here. Look, look at this shit. This is... A, Jay! Woo! It's empty. Not on the electronics! <laughs> it's empty. It's empty. I don't know if you can see this real clearly, but this is... Uh, yeah, you can see it a little bit. Yeah, this is all done with spray paints, man. He just fucking does it all quick, and, quick as shit. Yeah. So anyway, go check it out. StellarPaintings.com. Watch this guy do his shit. Hey, Be how- mesmerized like we were. Hey, Hellfire, what's up, man? How's it going? Just joining us, I guess. We've been talking about a couple things. Hellfire, yeah. you'd you'd probably find this uh, pretty infuriating. Earlier, we were talking about uh, there's YouTube videos online right now where you can. Yes, we did enjoy Pinhead. Uh, I assume it's the same guy. Yeah, then I won't explain it then. <laughs> did you enjoy? Pinhead? I was kind of thinking he just changed his name. Yeah. I, I'm thinking it's a dupe account. Damn it, Hellfire, you got me all excited that we had the real pinhead in here. <laughs> he was playing a game like a puzzle box. <laughs> yeah, at least you didn't stretch your skin out and shit and hook it. Yeah. Put, put, put Actually, it. Uh, Hellfire, when I was younger, okay, I did watch those. I haven't seen them in a long time, but I do remember the one. I can't remember which one it is, but where he makes that monster that shoots CDs out of his mouth. <laughs> do you remember that? And they exploded, I think. I'm going to have to start watching them again. Uh, the one I remember distinctly is, uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's the third one. Uh, some bitch comes back from the dead with no skin on yeah. and his, uh, ex lover and shit had, uh, uh, wrapped her all in gauze and shit. Yeah. Oh, well, Jimmy Knapp's in here. All right. We're getting a like legitimate celebrity here. <laughs> What's up, Jimmy? How you doing, man? Uh, what was it? How far? What are you talking about? Are you talking about that? Are you talking about the uh, monster that was shooting CDs out of its mouth? What up, sucker? Oh, Jimmy Nat Miss Pinhead, yeah. How, how you doing, brother? Yeah, what's up, so, man? So, guy who has way more followers and shit than we do. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on it. I'm, I'm slutting the corners, you know, jerking off old old men, putting my face in their salt and pepper pubes and sucking dick to get famous. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I could handle fame. Yeah, yeah, Hellfire. I don't. I I can't remember which one it was. It, it it I don't. It's not the first one, but it's like the second or third uh, Hellraiser where this guy shoots CDs out of its mouth and they explode. <laughs> I can't remember what the so fuck. dated. Yeah, it's fucking dated as shit. Yeah, I came across a video the other day about Ice T. Uh, back in like '99, he predicted MP3s in the fall of uh fall of the music industry. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, yeah. I it's floating around on YouTube right now. You can find it. Oh, uh, Jimmy knows. Yeah, it's Hellraiser 3. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the one with a bitch with no skin, too. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you, you can go find it. Uh, 
Ice T's basically saying, you know, there's no way the CDs don't have a fucking chance. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of crazy to think back in '99, man. Ice T's a really smart dude. Yeah, that actually reminds me. Uh, Cheech and Chong. They just did an interview with Cheech and Chong about marijuana and everything like that. And there was a video back in the '70s of Cheech and Chong saying people are getting too. Um, oh, two was the bitch with no skin. All right, that was creepy as fuck. Yeah, um, people are getting too um, fast on judging marijuana, and they're saying you should slow down because marijuana might have medical, <laughs> medical, you know, healing and stuff like that. And this was back in the '70s, and when they were interviewing, they're like, "Hey, but you know, who wanted to listen to a couple potheads?" <laughs> I, I still think it's hilarious that Cheech plays nothing but fucking cops now. Same with Ice T. Yeah, uh, what's his name? Henry, Henry, <laughs> that words Henry, Henry Rollin. <laughs> Henry Rollin. Rollin. See, I can't fucking talk today. Um, plays a cop and like everything. Every he, Black Flag fan in the world wants to kick your ass on for, off for a while. Are you guys going to be on for a while? I don't know. I think we got another 15, 20 minutes or so. Yeah, I think we have like ten minutes left. Maybe you have to dump one out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, dump quick, my friend. Dump quick. Yeah. There's always the replay. Um, that was number one. Yeah, I got. I got to fucking. I got to watch him again. That was number one. I, well, I think Jimmy's doing a number two. <laughs> I got to watch the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, series is too. Because I, I, the reason why I didn't watch Hellraiser and um, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street as much as I did is because I was a huge Jason fan. I'm still a huge Jason fan. I just love it because it's so simple. Like he, you know, he hates teens that do drugs and have sex because that's what they were doing when he drowned, and it just makes him want to kill people. I love it. <laughs> I DM you. Yeah. Um. Every show is what is it? Eight o'clock Tuesday. Tuesday at eight p.m. Yeah. Tuesday at eight. And Jimmy, I don't know if you live on the East Coast. I think you do because of that accent. <laughs> I they, wanna, he uh, is from New York. There is no question. <laughs> yeah, you have to be from New York or New Jersey, Jimmy. I was watching your guys' show, and see, I want an accent like that because fucking we'd be much more entertaining. Yeah, we'd we be much more entertaining. <laughs> East Coast, yeah, yeah. I I just feel like when when you have an accent, people listen to you. <laughs> like I think that's what made the fucking uh, mobster movie so awesome. You know, when this guy's sitting and he's like, grab me, he's like, you're breaking my heart. <laughs> We'd be so much more entertaining yeah. if we had if we had a New Yorker accent. Yeah, I know. It, it makes everything instantly funny. Why do you think there's so many comedians in New York City? Okay, New York, yeah, yeah. Bobby and I are in New York. Yeah, there's no question about that. Yeah, and when I lived in uh, when I lived in Florida, I knew a guy from New Jersey, and he was the nicest fucking guy I ever met, but for some reason, his accent was so thick. Everything he said New sounded... New Jersey. Yeah. Everything every was from New Jersey. Everything sounded so angry. <laughs> And like he was always like, you know, just so nice. And but I knew it, and a lot of people from Florida didn't realize, you know, it's not him being angry; it's just his accent. And like I just remember, like he saw this girl in a real. She was beautiful, and she was wearing a green dress. Yeah, Jimmy, eight Eastern. Uh, she was wearing a green dress, and this is how he hit on her. He was like, "Hey, yo, green!" <laughs> <laughs> and it sounded like horrible, like he was gonna rape her, but it was just his <laughs> accent. <laughs> hey, yo, green! Give us a call Sunday night. Yeah, we do have to call in. I remember the first show we, or I think it was the second stream. You guys said that you wanted to call in. Um, you want us to call in? Yeah, we'll have to call in some night. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta do that. It might be me because I think, yeah, you guys are on Sundays. So it's probably going to be me because Jay has like responsibilities. <laughs> he has like kids, I have and, shit. kids and responsibilities. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I do usually catch you guys as a uh, replay, though. Yeah. At least I try to. If I can't always do it, I can't. I've watched a bunch of your shit. I remember you guys were eating McDonald's one time. <laughs> yeah. I just shit was you. entertaining. Uh, we should start doing that more. What, just fucking eat McDonald's? Yeah. We should go. To I don't need <laughs> to eat any more motherfucking McDonald's. <laughs> Actually, what did I have from McDonald's? Oh yeah, I um, you know how McDonald's has those uh, McFlurries and shit like that, and then they have uh, oh, what are they called? Like those smoothies and shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when later, Jimmy. What's it? yeah later, Jim? Thanks for coming in, man. Um, when uh, last time I went there, I really wanted an Oreo McFlurry. Okay, and I think they ran out of McFlurry cups. Because they they gave me a smoothie cup, okay? It was half full, okay? There was hardly any ice cream in it. I think it took me like 30 seconds to eat it. 
And when I went to pull the spoon, you know how they put the domes over top of it? I went to pull the spoon out. The hole wasn't big enough for the spoon to come out, and it ripped the lid off, and the fucking ice cream went all over me. I was like, McDonald's, what the fuck, man? You have a serious fucking sweet tooth, don't you? Oh, I do. I get in the moods, dude. I think I like get my periods sometimes. <laughs> like Your I, menstruation? Yeah, my menstruation. Because like, I get in the, Like, last night, okay, I live about... When it, I don't sleep a lot. I have really bad insomnia. Like, uh, so when it's three in the morning and I want something to eat, I have to drive a good like forty minutes away. I think. You think Sheets is probably a half an hour, forty minutes away? Somewhere. Oh my god, maybe not even. Yeah, like thirty, twenty minutes maybe. Twenty minutes maybe. It seems like forever because I'm hungry. But like at three in the morning last night, I wanted candy, <laughs> like so bad. So I, I want candy. Yeah, I drove about twenty minutes to Sheets. Uh, we have Sheets. If anyone knows what a Wawa is, it's sort of like that. If you're not from Pennsylvania, we have Sheets here. And I uh, love Wawa. Yeah. They got them all in Maryland. And uh, I got Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> Total twenty minutes away. <laughs> But McDonald's has been doing some weird shit lately. Like, some girl just posted on uh, her Twatter, or whatever the fuck it was, that she got a McChicken, and she when she bit into it, she realized the chicken tasted different. So she opened the bun, and they ran out of chicken patties, I guess, so they just put chicken nuggets in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm McShitting. Yeah, I'm McShitting. I, I actually, always call them that, because whenever you eat the fucking things, you got to hit the bathroom within, like, oh, five yeah. minutes. Fuck yeah, and it's funny, too, because... For some reason, when I eat McChickens, it makes my shit smell exactly like McChickens. Like, it's, it almost, when I, when I take a shit after I eat a McChicken, it smells so much like a McChicken, it almost makes me hungry again. <laughs> you know what? When I drink a lot of coffee, my piss smells like coffee. Oh, yeah, I bet. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I've been, uh, actually, uh, Rico, you know Rico. Of course he, I do. He He's used to my drink uncle. a lot of coffee beer. A lot of coffee beer, and it made, it made his beer. Or his beer, his piss smell like coffee so bad, and he he. I remember when he told me that the the brewery that he worked at uh, made coffee, and he's like complaining to everyone. He's like walking around. He's like, I just can't sleep lately and stuff like that. And finally, someone said to him, "Like you're drinking coffee beer." He's like, "Shit, I didn't fucking think of that." Yeah, I was the one that told him that. It's like you're drinking coffee stout. <laughs> he's like, "Oh yeah, that's right." Oh Jesus. Hey, uh, well, I think we're running out of time here, but man, I wanted to show you this quick because I think you're going to get a kick out of it. You'll never guess what my new ringtone is. What? Is it something sexy? You'll like it. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, don't, I don't get all the Teen Titans go hate. Oh, that's awesome. And this fucking song, man, it depressed me so much to learn it's that so it's not good. real. It's so good. And see, people call me a man child. But if anyone doesn't know what that song is, it's from Teen Titans Go that's on Cartoon Network. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a moment to, to explain here why all you motherfuckers hating on Teen Titans Go are wrong. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I'm taking the headphones off. <laughs> My turn to rant. <laughs> all right. So here's the deal. Teen Titans Go takes a couple of existing characters and instead of focuses on their crime fighting... And uh, their character growth and interpersonal relationships, they do a bullshit fake reality show. And that's fucking hilarious. I know it is fun. I mean, it's like taking Drawn Together. Remember that cartoon show? Yeah, from the, on Comedy of, Central. Yeah, yeah, Comedy Central you Drawn had, uh, Together. You had Little Boop, not Little Boop, Pete, Betty you had Boop, the, Betty Boop. Fake Boop, man. Betty Boop, Fake Link, fake, yeah. fake Superman. But instead of that, you take characters that are already there with already existing properties and already existing uh personalities and, and you put them into a reality show where they're it's more focused about the dumb shit that they're doing yeah. that's why you're wrong and why that show's <laughs> fucking brilliant and why you don't make the money that the people who came up with that game i know it's the number one show on cartoon network right now. absolutely it's fucking hilarious yeah, it is fucking i fire. mean if you want to talk about it just a bunch of fucking irreverent bullshit you got like uncle grandpa or something <laughs> by the way the difference here is i watch these shows because i have children who i have to watch them with he watches them by choice. He's the man child. Dude, Cartoon Network's the shiz nizzle. <laughs> I don't know why I got like Snoop Dogg all of a sudden, but it's fucking every all other TV sucks, man. What's up, man? What's up, Manchester? How you doing? Manchester Bear, that's a good strong name. I like Manchester that. Manchester Bear, but you gotta get like an emoji. By the way, did you see I thought I thought they canceled the emoji movie. Apparently not. There was an emoji movie. There's gonna be. Oh my god. I thought they canceled it just due to the overwhelming. I'm going feedback. to shoot myself. I'm fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, teen 
or T. T Nile. T Nile. Yeah, what's up, man? How are you doing? Yeah, we're we're just for people joining. We're getting ready to be done here. It's uh, it's been about an hour. We like to do an hour show or whatever like that. But if we get on too much longer, we start uh, ranting about bullshit, and then everybody starts leaving the chat. Yeah, about me, about the conspiracy, about how money's bullshit. <laughs> and I but, I got off on a rant about Teen Titans Go of all things. So, you know. But thank you for sticking around, everyone that did. You know, when I got my Alex Jones conspiracy moment. <laughs> you guys should definitely watch the replay. Um. Let me just uh, go ahead and put a little plug out there. Butt plug. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're going to want to follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Google+. Plus. Uh, if you want to take a look at our sexy, sexy merchandise, you can uh, go to openlyhostileopinions.com and click the merchandise link. That helps us out big time if you buy stuff. Uh, cyanide, if you end up watching the replay, working on your shirt, still designing it, I'll get it out to you as soon as possible. And we love you. We we do love you and um, yeah. So so all you guys who who are sticking with us, uh, there may be some hiccups here sometime in the near future for those of you listening on the podcast because I was violating my web host's terms of service by hosting all of our podcast episodes on my actual web page. So so it's your fault. It's my <laughs> fault. So we need to uh, actually start doing some sort of podcast hosting like LibSign or Blueberry. There may be an interruption in service. We'll continue to put it out, and it'll continue to be available on YouTube and Periscope, but there might be some screw-up as things change over to the new server for the podcast. So especially you, Shane Hartle, who's a patron, thank you very much for that. Uh, You might notice a small, like one week or two weeks while things get straightened out, but they'll all be there. Yeah, Uh, we're going to figure it out because like with donations from like Shane and Cy... Uh, for our Patreon, like we have some money, yeah. but we just don't know how what we're gonna do yet. We we gotta work out some. We're of putting business. out so many episodes every week and stuff like that. The people that we're using to host our stuff is basically you know running out of room. They they, were, <laughs> they we violated the terms of service. They're not supposed to use. We're not yeah. supposed to use them as a file host. So. But we're still gonna be doing Periscope and everything like that. It's just putting the stuff out on like iTunes, Google Play. That's getting a little. Get a little e. <laughs> we're, we're, we're working on it. There might be a, a week or two interruption, so I'm warning you all ahead of time for that, but we will get everything squared away. Don't unsubscribe from us, for the love of God. Please don't. <laughs> uh, uh, if you want to help support what we do, you can go to patreon.com slash openlyhostileopinions. Uh, for as little as a dollar, you can uh, help us make this whole bit of dick and fart jokes possible. And, uh, yeah, check us out on YouTube. All the replays will be on there. I know Periscope deletes them after a while, but you will always be able to find our episodes on YouTube. So we will uh, see you all next week. Thank you. Have a good one. Later. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. (laughs) We are available on YouTube, Google Play, iTunes, and your favorite podcast app. Be sure to like, subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to help make all this possible, become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. (laughs) 